What's going on YouTube? It's the Bruce Ree and welcome to the dojo and this is a very special ranked match that I'm going to bring you to guys today because this is the first part of a whole, hopefully a 32 part series minus any teams that have uh, two draft picks this year but I'm going to be going through every single team and giving you my mock draft. That's right, my picks for the NFL draft that's coming up on April 28th. I'm going to run through all these teams starting with the Kansas City Chiefs here today. Uh, against my opponent, he took the uh, Seattle Seahawks and going into the game, I started this game off I don't know if you guys just caught that, but I had a safety on the kickoff Basically, I, it was coming high and I didn't, I didn't want to catch it I backed out of the way and I let it bounce and I thought it was going to go in the end zone But it just stopped at the one yard oh, line and then I went back to get it And it ended up getting tackled for a safety But that's alright because on the very next possession, Brandon Flowers comes up and gets me an interception right there with a the computer droid animation and now it's time to start feeding that beast that is Jamal Charles. So we started this game off the rockiest way possible to safety, but it's time to salvage that shit here. As, we, as I ended up getting sacked right here with, uh, I think I had Quinn in the game. So I noticed I had Quinn in the game, and on the very next drive, you'll see that I sub his ass out of there and get Matt Castle in there. Because, I mean, I, I guess neither one is that great or that special, but I mean, I'm a Patriots fan, so uh, we're going to try, try to bring Matt Castle back to his glory days of 2008. Uh, but we ended up getting three and outed, and uh, he's got the ball in very good position here. Already up by two, trying to go up by nine. He's handing the ball off to Marshawn Lynch, and that man is just a truck as he goes over and plows over a couple Chiefs. And then uh, end of the first quarter, and he ends up running a read option to the end zone right there, Russell Wilson, just making things happen on the ground. When you run with the Seahawks, that's what you got to do, ground and pound. They, have, they don't have the best receivers in the world. Um, next year they will, though. <laughs> they just got Percy Harvin in that trade. Next year their receivers will be fine. But uh, when you run with the Seahawks this year, you want to basically run that read option, utilize the Russell Wilson's uh, mobility, along with Marshawn Lynch's playmaking ability. And uh, he ended up getting the better of me there. So he goes up 9-0 early. We go to this next play, second and nine. Castle drops back and has his eyes downfield. And he sees wide, wide open. Kevin Boss rumbling towards the end zone. And he's in the end zone like a boss. So that's what I'm talking about. We're cutting this deficit down to two points. End up kicking our free point. And uh, now he gets the ball back deep in his zone, and he's got Leon Washington trying to do a little bit. Every time he brought Leon Washington in, he was giving him the ball. So, I mean, it was a kind of a tell on his his part that I can use against him. That I mean, if you notice something uh, like that against your opponents, you know, take notes. If they put a certain package in during the game, and every time they put that package in, they go to a certain guy, you know, you got you to gotta react. Uh, this game's all about adjustments. But right here, he goes to 4th and 7. He's running out of the pocket, trying to find something downfield. He ends up just chucking it up right here, and I'm able to swat it down with Brown. And uh, we take possession in great, a great spot to be able to take advantage of this uh, and put points on the board. You know, we want to go up 14 and nine right here and uh, start putting some distance because I mean, we know the Seahawks are a great team with a great secondary, and it's not going to be easy moving this ball all game on him. Uh, right there, Matt Castle ends up beating dirt, uh, backs it up into a second and 17. And he eats dirt again. He gets a second helping. Third and 22. Can he put the ball downfield? Nope, but he's getting the ball to Charles in the flats. Little shake and bake action, but uh, nothing's going. And we end up taking three, so we end up going up by one point, 10 to 9. And uh, we're going to rely on our defense right here to give us a little stop, give us a little momentum. Uh, so he recalls a screen, but nothing's there. He ends up flinging it out to him, but doesn't get anything. Third and 15. He's looking downfield again. We've got him second guessing his secondary, right? Or uh, second guessing his deep throwing ability. And uh, Barry drops an interception right there. Oh my god, no! But he punts the ball over me. He learns his lesson. Punts the ball. First and 10. We're trying to drive down this field. I end up getting a little quick snap so we can stop the clock. And uh, this ball's going to Tony Moiyaki. And call that quick timeout and take those three points going into the second half. And settling into the second half here, I'm going to kick it off with the first part of my mock draft series. Here we go, Kansas City Chiefs, you're on the clock. With the first pick of the NFL Draft, I predict, drumroll please, Luke Jokel out of Texas A&M. Man's got a 6'6 six six frame, 306 pounds of uh, offensive lineman, just beefcake out there. Offensive tackle position, the guy, uh, the, the Kansas City Chiefs acquired Alex Smith uh, in free agency, and whenever a team you know, gets a new franchise passer, the second move is always to protect that man's ass. And that's why I predict Joke was going to be a good fit for them. He's a premium pass protector, but he does have the power to be able to run block for Jamal Charles. They did just give the franchise tag to Brandon Albert, their left tackle, but signing Joke is going to be a big move in saving pennies for them if they can let Brandon Albert walk next season, and then all of a sudden they have a rookie contract coming in for him. So it's a good move in that sense. 
Uh, you always want to get your quarterback protected early, and doing that with Joko, I mean, that just seems like a smart, no-brainer move for me. And on that note, we're going to head right back into the play-by-play. -play. And as you just saw, my opponent kind of dotted me up to Obamanu in the end zone and ended up taking the two-point lead back from me. But right here, look at this throw. Matt Castle put it on the money. That was just an absolute laser from Matt Castle. As he gets into a first and ten on the 30-yard line, he's chucking it up. But it's overshooting the end zone right there. Hand this ball to Jamal Charles on the counter. He's able to gut out a couple yards right here. And you know for this battle, we left our guns at home. But these Chiefs did bring their bow. Dwayne Bow with the touchdown grab. Six points. Put him on the board. Let's go. But there is still plenty of time on the clock for them to make a comeback here. But not if you're playing like that. User pick. Got him, coach. Give me that Mario coin. Brandon Flowers with the second interception on the day. We are reversing the fortunes of the Kansas City Chiefs. And we're making them into winners right before your very eyes. As we're handing the ball to Jamal Charles. And he's wiggling out 10 yards there. Second and one. Getting the ball back again. But he's not able to find anything right there. Gets stuffed. Third and two. Castle gets sacked. Ah, oh, man. So I pause the game. Check the kick power of my kicker. And he had a weenie leg. So we end up going for it. And converting to Jamal Charles right there. Clutch throw, clutch catch, hitting it up to Jamal Charles again, and he's got wiggle room, and he's sprung all the way to the three-yard line, setting up for a first and goal on the four. Peyton Hillis gets stuffed on first and goal, second and goal, ball back in Peyton Hillis' hands, he gets stuffed a second time, third and goal, why not? Jamal Charles getting stuffed at the two-yard line, so you know what, we'll take our three points, uh, and we'll go up by seven, you know, and we'll try to hold them off on defense because, you know, it's been kind of working so far. We've had some stands here, had some interceptions at, at some key times, and I think we can try to pull it off again. Uh, but Russell Wilson is starting to move the ball down the field. He's moving the chains. First and ten, I end up dropping an interception. Oh, Madden, why are you doing me like that? But when you're playing with a dregs team, you know, you got to expect that Madden's not going to be giving you anything. So right here, we end up dropping back, and we're getting a pick of our own. Give me that Mario coin. I read him like a book. I knew he was going to run that streak. He's been doing it a couple times all game. And, uh, and I saw it coming, was able to jump it, takes the interception. And we got the ball back, and it's time to run that clock. And that's going to be it for that this game, guys. Uh, you know, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the uh, part one of my mock draft. Uh, I'm going to be trying to go through all the teams, all your guys' teams, and give you uh, exactly who I think they're going to pick. It's not going to, you know, chances are I'm going to be way wrong. <laughs> chances are I'm going to be so wrong it's going to be like, disgraceful. But I'm going to try anyways. I'm going to give you guys my best attempt of my mock draft, and... Uh, and hopefully use every team that I'm uh, picking for at that time. So uh, it should be good. Tonight is the Sports Commentator March Madness live stream voting over on iPod King Carter's channel. Link is going to be in the description for his channel. Uh, go over there and check it out at 5 p.m. to see if I advance to round three of that competition. Man, I hope I do because I got a great video lined up for you if I, if I end up going so on. Check it out. I'll be there, and I will see you guys next time. Bruce Ree, out. Three, two,